Aha, dinky do. A very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClure, and we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. That is the big one. Nine o'clock sharp. Nothing gets past me. Welcome, welcome, welcome to one of the world's great broadcast platforms. I'm Scotty McClure, the world's top talk jock. And I'm here with you for one hour, one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment. Now, tonight's show will contain fabulous features. Very, very important that. A lot of features in tonight's show so that you're not missing. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Now, the trick is you can have that on in the background. Normally, we have televisions and radios off at 9 o'clock sharp on a Sunday night because that's Scotty McClue time. So you don't want to be watching television. But I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. I know it's very engaging television. We're right up against it, and I see it's still getting a huge audience uh, when Scotty McClue's on. So that's a beauty, that is. So there you are. So tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that you're watching Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. Lots and lots to discuss tonight. This is show number 58. Isn't that incredible? 58 live one-hour shows on Facebook Live just for you, dinky-doo. Lots of features tonight, of course. Keith Glasgow's watching. Fiona Brown's watching, dinky-doo. Hello from East Kilbride, says James Bauer, dinky-doo. The Taxi Owners Association up at East Kilbride there. Now, Scotty, what's all this nonsense about Winston Churchill being a good guy? Well, he was a poor soul, really, wasn't he, actually? The problem is he was a warmonger. And there was a meeting in, I think it was, a May 1940, and they were talking about surrendering to Hitler. And, of course, that was the appeasement movement, and then Churchill decided to fight. Now, it's actually opinion whether he made the right decision or whether he didn't. Everybody says, oh yes, you'd have been overrun by the Nazis. But then again, look at the devastation that the Second World War caused. Absolutely appalling devastation. So there we are. Excellent. So that's uh, what we're talking about here. Steve Burrows, good evening, Scotty. Good evening to you, Steve. Lovely to have you with us. Very, very hot in the studio tonight, of course, but I've got features for you. So there you are. I've got jungle features for you. And uh, we've got uh, a feature called I'm a Celebrity Get It Dunya. Uh, so there you are. So we'll be doing features as the night goes on. So you'll not be missing uh, too much if you're watching Scotty McClue and you've got I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here on in the background. Gerald Mackay, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Gordon Hay, Jim Armstrong, Stevie McKenzie, great to have you with us, Stevie. Of course, hi, Scotty, says Gerald. Hi, Gerald, dinky do, lovely to have you with us live on the Scotty McClue Show. I've got a wee touch of the lurgy tonight, so uh, I might take a wee coughing fit or something like that, but not to worry, we've got the water with us. The water is here. Mm -hmm. Safe and sound. So that's marvellous. Hello, Scotty, says Julia Diamond. Julia Dinky-Doo, I believe you are um, a Springer Spaniel uh, lady. So there we are, marvellous. Dinky-Doo, Scotty, I'm a celebrity. Isn't all that, although they have a decent cast this year. There's a button on my screen that says request to join broadcaster. Not going to press it, though. No, you're better here because I've got features. And we'll do a feature at... Um, Quarter past, half past, quarter to, and probably on the hour at 10 o'clock, we will do an I'm a Celebrity Get It Dunya feature. So watch Scotty McClue, who is a celebrity, and we shall sort you out there. And as I say, lots of features for you. Just going to do a little bit of uh, sorting out here because we're absolutely awash. It's roasting in the studio tonight, absolutely roasting, and uh, I've got features for you, so you can stick with Scotty McClue, and as I say, if you really, really have to put I'm a Celeb to get me out of here on, because remember, we're hard up against it, audience-wise, but Scotty McClue is around for a long, long time, so you know me. All right, Scotty, how's it going, pal? What do you think, says Peter Martin, dinky-doo, Peter? Tell them to turn the tellies off, Scotty, says uh, Steve Burrows, that's the stuff. Uh, Lee fans watching Dinky Doo. Is that the same water that the Reverend Goodchild was drinking on Scotch and Rye? That's awful good water. This is where you get your water. <laughs> mm. oh, oh, that's good water. Right, there we are. I could donate a thousand, but a tenner should be good, says Gerald Mackay. Gerald, anything you think fit is uh, is excellent. It's very much appreciated. A pound or a billion pounds. It's the thought 
that counts and it's very very much appreciated because it allows us to do little bits of um sorry for scratching my nose there uh, doing little bits of advertising and what have you um about the show the show is proving very 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 popular i mean it is what it is it's a facebook live show and i'm talking to all the big radio stations about doing scotty mcclue's hogmanay bash at hogmanay funnily enough so there you are nothing gets past me lynn donnelly's watching the fabulous Scotland's top hairstylist, Dinky Doolin Donnelly. Lovely to have you with us. I've told Ted to tell Ted to tell Ted to tell Ted, Scotty, says Paul Crookshanks. You're quite right, Paul. And uh, hi, Scotty. It's Lynn Donnelly and two beautiful kisses. Mm, beautiful kisses back to you, Lynn Donnelly. And thank you so much for watching this wonderful, wonderful program. It is a classic bit of television. And as I say, I've got features coming up. We'll be doing our first feature in a few minutes' time. I'm a celebrity, get it doing you. And you'll see what I'll do. I've got it all prepared for you. And I've got challenges for me. And you can all watch and vote me, uh, you know, in or out tonight. See what's actually happening. I'm sorry, Badly M. Linney. Scotty, what do you make of American football? Or American sport in general? American football's huge. Uh, but baseball, am I not right in thinking the baseball is the big one? So they are. American football is effectively rugby. Because I remember when I was a wee boy and the American sailors uh, were around in Scotland at the time and they uh, came and played us and showed us a little bit about tackling. And American, American football is effectively a rugby game, I would have said. You're not going to eat a kangaroo's butt, are you? Says Gary Cross. Gary, you will see. I've got three features for you. One at 9.15, when we've got the uh, share, 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 share. Uh, one at 9.30. John Hodgson's watching, one of our uh, top broadcasters in the country. And, of course, um, one of the fabulous guys that runs great Yorkshire radio, perhaps, one of the best stations in the country, Great Yorkshire Radio. How are you, Scotty? Says Stephen Wright. Dinky do, Stephen. Media is a lot bigger these days, says Gerald Mackay. Gerald, it's amazing. Scotty McClue is hard up against. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. And we're getting an audience, and I believe they're getting an audience as well. And that's why I've included features so that nobody misses out. So we've got I'm a celebrity type features on here tonight. And you can see what we think. I've set myself challenges. And uh, you can tell me what you think. Jim Morris is watching Dinky Do. Stevie Wood. Uh, excellent stuff. Yes, media is moving all the time. I mean, a few years ago, we could never have done a live piece of television like this on a Sunday night for one hour. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I just wish I'd been able to do it 30 years ago. And by now, we would have built absolutely throughout the world. Uh, hot, I know. What's it like? Bunt my legs playing golf in Thailand. I forgot to put sunblock in my legs. Red raw, but getting better now, says Michael McGuigan. Michael, you must be careful. Never, ever go into fashion or people telling you. I remember when I was out in uh, Crete on a beautiful, sunny, sunny day. About this time of year, actually, it was November, and it was stunning. We'd left, you know, absolutely dark, cold rain and uh, gone out to Crete for a family wedding and it was just outstanding and I had white socks on by the pool and my dear aunt said I would lose the socks I think just of your sandals and of course my feet got burnt no 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 you do not want to burn yourself Eric McKenzie's watching thank you know and uh, Neve Axe Tech Dean Park Dean Park how fabulous I uh, have shared your wonderful article. So great to know that all is well with you and your lovely, lovely lady. You are a top, top showman. One of Scotland's finest, Dean Park. So there you are. Pantomime, get the details, and I shall tell the nation. Hi, Scotty, says Callum Murray. Dinky, do Callum Murray. Steph McIlvenny. Uh, James Michael Harvey, lovely to have you with us. Peter Boy, not going to eat worms for your challenge. I have... The challenge here, the first challenge is coming up. Let me see if I can get the time up here. I'm surrounded by computers here, guys. So I'm just going to get the time up. Just stick with me and we'll see what's what. The first challenge is coming up at 9.15. But let me get uh, this sorted out until uh, I see what's what. Excellent stuff. Right, there we are. And uh, we'll just sort that out. Right, that's going to sort out. Good. That will set itself up. Hi, Scotty. 
Hope you're okay. Don't want to burn yourself, says Catherine Scully. Catherine, you do not now believe you had an interview for a job this week, so let us know how that went. Dinky do, says Catherine. Uh, what happened to the fox? The fox is uh, strong and well, as far as I know. Haven't seen him for a while, but how amazing is the fox? He follows me about ooh, six to eight feet away when I'm walking with the dog. He gets to the house and he goes, uh, you stay here, I can, I can smell you. I'm not saying I smell, but the fox will know. And he goes, uh, so uh, away and get with somebody and I'll kind of hang about. And uh, incredible, absolute genius. Uh, my dear friend Rod was talking yesterday, my first wizard of the big switchboard 25 years ago at Red Rose Gold, 9.99 a.m. in Preston in Lancashire. And Rod was the first wizard, an outstanding wizard, a great radio man. And uh, he said, can you um, house train a fox? And I said, of course, you just open a line of communication. But remember that they're the genius and we are learning. Human beings tend to be a wee bit arrogant. They think, oh, this animal here won't know. They're, they're geniuses. They're geniuses. Uh, all right, Scotty, you banger, says Steph. Absolutely, Steph, you banger. Hi, Scotty, says Alex Robertson, one of our finest actors. It's 9.12, says Stephen Wright. Right, let me know when it's 9.15. Because I'm surrounded by all these computers. I'm just trying to get the one with the clock so I can see what's what. Um, Paul Goodyear's watching Dinky Doo. Uh, Michael gets sunburn and we get frostbite. <laughs> Pardon me. Thanks, Scotty. I did an interview this week. Got the job. So there you are, training next week. And uh, now you've got two zero hour contract jobs. Don't worry about that, my dear, because that's kind of the way this country's going. They're all trying to save a few quid or two, but if you get enough jobs, you could probably get by. My uncle used to have a pet fox. It can be done, says Ian Johnson. Of course it can, Ian. It's wonderful stuff. Excuse me a wee second. Another little comfort break because we're roasting in the studio tonight. I don't know who's put the heating on because I tried to get to the 29th of November was my record. So there we are. I'm wondering if the missus has slipped it on. Marie Stobo, hi, Scotty Dinky Do. Kieran Anderson, lovely to have you with us, and um, fantastic to have so many of you with us. Now, just so that you won't be drawn away to any other channels, there we are, and uh, that's just, you'd hear that just launching there, 13 minutes past, uh, the first challenge, Scotty McClue has set, I'm a celebrity style challenges, so imagine we're in the jungle right now, and I shall set myself a challenge, and then you can vote me in or out, okay? And uh, so there we are. So the first one is coming up at uh, at nine fifteen. The first, the first serious challenge to Scotty McClue coming up at nine fifteen. Sorry, you couldn't make the pantomimes, says Alex. I know, Alex. I'm absolutely maxed at the moment, but I'm hoping that the radio stations will uh, be interested in taking Scotty McClue's Hogmanay bash because Hogmanay, as you know, in the media is usually an absolute shambles. Everybody ends up complaining. As you know, the Scotty McClue Hogmanay bash is much, much vaunted. And, um, you know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a wonderful, highly, highly acclaimed setup. What I do, I usually go on air about 10 o'clock and we have the bells at midnight. We sometimes stay on to one. And uh, I will uh, play you. I, I probably won't be able to do this Facebook because it would mean, um, you know, having to be licensed for the music. But um, what I could do is get a few uh, nice Scottish numbers for you, a bit of dancing going, and greetings, a greetings program. So it would be absolutely huge. We once did it going out to about, I think it was about 9 million of uh, transmission survey area when we put all the radio stations together at the Millennium. And a lady rang from uh, Richmond in North Yorkshire and she said, this is just wonderful. I've had the most fantastic night. I didn't realize programs like this existed. And um, she did a wonderful time. She rang at one o'clock. Hi, Scotty. Love you. First time I've ever saw seen you. And be able to say hello. Lots of love. Shelley Boyle. Shelley Boyle, dinky do to you from Scotty McClue. <coughs> You'll have to forgive me, guys. I'm full of the lurgy tonight, but we will press on. Scotty, St. Andrew's Day is coming up. Do you think it should be a public holiday? After James Wright, I shall be putting up my St. Andrew's Day address to the Falkland Islands. Scotty McClure talking to the Falkland Islanders on St. Andrew's Day. And I'll pop that up for you. 
Um, all the cast and mother will say hi, says Alex Robertson. Dinky do. The mother will panto. A wonderful, wonderful pantomime and a great history of the uh, of quality pantomime acting in Mother Will. The mother will panto. Um, I'd love to be in a panto, but I'm so maxed at the moment. Dave Humphrey, Dinky Do, Catherine Scally, Michael Yule is here, Carol McNamara is watching, Dinky Do, Carol, lovely to have you with us, enjoyed bantering with you during the week. Now, challenge time, oh my goodness, we're nearly over, so what we're going to do, uh, so that you feel at home with I'm a Celebrity, get it, Dunya, so this is Scotty McClure, I'm a Celebrity, get it, Dunya, right, so, so that you will suddenly get ourselves off to Australia, there we are, there you go, we're off to Oz, and uh, off to Australia, so we shall talk like that, and uh, that's Scotty McClure, now in the jungle in Australia, so perhaps I should sit back and say it's quite a challenge we've got here, anyway, what else I'll do is, uh, so hi to all the guys watching, hi to all the Sheilas and the Bruces, and what we'll do here is I'll also put on a Geordie voice so that you, you, you don't miss our wee friends. You know what I'm saying, the pair of them on uh, I'm a Celebrity and I'm going to set a challenge now for Scotty McClue and he'll have to fulfil the challenge on I'm a Celebrity. We're going to do, uh, some of them we're doing one now which is uh, just after quarter past nine and then we're going to do one at half past and then we'll do one at quarter two and then one at ten o'clock. All right there. So Scotty McClue, I'm a celebrity. Get it, don't you? Challenge one. All right, challenge one. Just coming up now. So here we go. And the challenge, challenge one, is that I've got a whole load of potato crisps. Can you see them? And I've got to get the crisps done me, right, in about one minute. All right? So you're voting for us now. You're rooting for us, okay? Scotty McClue, I'm a celebrity. Get it, don't ya? Challenge one. Right, here you are. Right, eh, uh, oh. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, 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 crisps. Mmm, 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 mmm. One minute on the crisps, okay? Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. A minute on the crisps. Mmm, 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 mmm. How am I doing? <laughs> I did the Chris challenge one, so I get to stay in the in the jungle in Scotland. All right, we make, we, we're Australian head on, and um, a little bit of I'm, I'm speaking uh, a little bit of Geordie, so you yeah, yeah, feel at home. Mm. No, mm -hmm. all finished. Okay, so there you go. Thanks very much. Okay, get it done, you. So every day vote did Scotty McClue pass the first challenge. We get it done, you. I'm a celeb. Uh, hi, Scotty. Hope you enjoyed your supper. Scotty, do it with a portion of spice. Study as next as Paul McCurry. Well, this is a new law in public service broadcasting, says Gordon Stilling. No, but Gordon, if you can't beat them, join them, I say. You know what I'm saying? Now, there we go. Right. Change of hat. Back into Scotty mode. Mm -hmm. That was challenge one. All right. The next challenge is coming up at half past. Right, what's your thoughts, Scotty? Would you say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays? Merry Christmas. Get this into your heads, guys. No other religions object to Christmas, right? 
it's Christ's Mass, it's Christ's Letra, it's Christ's Birthday. You don't have to celeb, you don't have to celebrate it if you're not Christian. But if you're Christian, celebrate the birth of Christ. For there are as many festivals as you like, never a problem. So there we go. Uh, hi, Scotty, hope you've enjoyed your supper. So there you go. <laughs> Pass with flying colours, says Lee Fern. Uh, Peter Martin, well done, Scotty. You did an awesome job, says Sapphire MacDonald. Chris Puddy, hello. Oh, my goodness, I've got to. The next challenge coming up at half past. There you are, it's about nine minutes away. Hello, Chris Buddy. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet. And we are, of course, live globally right across the world on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. And the audiences to the show are into thousands now. We need them now into millions. All of you need to help me, though. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue, live on Sunday nights at 9 o'clock sharp. Remember, we're also going head-to-head -head right up against I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here on television. Now, what I'm going to do, I've got um, four features. We've just had feature one, and I've got four I'm a Celebrity, Get It Dunya features. And we've just passed the first one, a whole bowl of potato crisps in under a minute. <coughs> Fantastic. John Hodgson, Scotty, you get my vote. I've shared it too. Here, here, you should have taken that to Parliament, Scotty. Love you, says Sherry Boyle. Dinky do. Um, Harry Marshall Sr., happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Harry. You'll see Scotty McClue's Thanksgiving message. And I hope everybody in America gets to see that. So there you are. You'll see on Facebook Live. Just scroll down. Everything to do with Scotty McClue is absolutely first class. Even if we did sort of go for a bit of a low in, in broadcasting tonight. Uh, but it's not uh, that's not public service broadcasting. I have to say that was commercial broadcasting that we're talking about. You're barely getting a pint of heavy down you. But the SNP has made it too expensive. Well, of course, I don't bother with the sauce these days. Alfred James Wright, uh, because I'm around so much. I do so much work at the moment. And uh, I say work. I don't. That's not meant to say to any of you it's too much work, because if you enjoy what you're doing, you never work a day in your life. Hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Scotty, says Anwen Wright. Anwen, we'll be coming on. You'll have Scotty McClue's Christmas message. You'll have Scotty McClue's Hogmanay bash. So we'll be around at Christmas. Jim Robin, hi Scotty, greetings from British Columbia. So there you are, British Columbia and Canada. Jim Robin there, fantastic stuff. We should do a Scotty McClue Christmas special. I'll be in touch, says John Hodgson. Well, Scotty McClue's Hogmanay bash as well, John. Uh, hope you have a Merry Christmas, says Sapphire MacDonald. Sapphire, what a lovely thing to say. But we'll be talking before then. We're on every Friday night. This is show number 58. Now, bearing in mind, we started this for a laugh, and now it's right across the world globally on Facebook Live. How amazing is that? Scotty, why did they take you off the radio? You were great, says Harry Marshall Sr. I don't know why they took me off the radio. The only thing we could come up with, it was absolutely wiping out the competition. So the competition weren't very happy. So uh, I don't know what happened behind the scenes, but um, obviously something did, because Scotty McClure disappeared for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So there you are. So very, very strange. But um, I remember two greats in this country. Um, I can mention them, in fact, because they're both dead now. One was Morris Lindsay, who had been the programme controller at Border Television. And I used to work at Border Television in Carlisle. And the other was uh, Nicholas Fairbairn. So Nicholas Fairbairn, who was the uh, Solicitor General for Scotland, and I think could probably have been a Lord Advocate. Uh, so there you are, a remarkable lawyer. And um, he was uh, amazing. The two of them met, and um, Morris said to, to Nicky Fairbairn, because Morris did many different jobs. He was with the Scottish Civic Society. And he said, 
You know, Nicky, if you do some, if you do uh, more than one thing well in Scotland, they hate you. And Nicky Fairbairn turned to him and said, "No, Morris, if you do one thing well in Scotland, they hate you." <laughs> so they are dab on the haters. I say, what happened between you and L one seven? That again was nothing to do with me. We had a serious management problem out there. Uh, Stuart McKenna is watching. I agree. You're far better than any broadcaster, says Anwen Wright. Anwen, I say thank you to you. Very much appreciated. Ron Stewart's watching. Now, Ron Stewart, you told me a whopper. You said you wouldn't be watching because you were washing your hair. Um, so I can only assume that your hair didn't take all that long to wash. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a second of Scotty McClue, you miss a moment of life. And even if we are up against I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. I've got challenges tonight. I'm a celebrity, get it, dunya, they're called. And we've got three more challenges to go. Uh, what's your thoughts on Robin Galloway? So they are what he did, the real wind-ups. Robin Galloway is an outstanding broadcaster and a great colleague and a great friend of mine. Alejandro Castianda Hernandez is watching. Where are you watching from, Alejandro Castianda Hernandez? Where are you watching from? Do tell. Dinky do, says Ron Stewart. Dinky do to you. Did you watch the Scottish League Cup final today, Scotty? What about the rugby score yesterday? If Carlsberg did weekends, there you are. This talk show is not a laugh. It's a classic, says Steve Burrows. Of course, it's a classic. Scotty McClue is a classic. So there you are. And we're only getting into a stride, guys. We haven't even scratched the surface. If God uh, spares me, I would like to be working for about another 20 years on radio and television. So there you go. I did get in touch with a television company and they said, um, you have a Scottish accent, Scotty. So that wouldn't be suitable. And I thought that wasn't really right. Uh, Scotty, but how about trying a couple of Scotch bonnet chilies for your challenge? You know, the next challenge is all lined up, guys. I've just got my way through a packet of crisps in under a minute. Uh, so there we are. Um, and uh, again, you know, you've got to imagine we're in the jungle and actually doing our stuff. I should maybe sit back and have some chats. I nearly got on the final of Big Brother. Um, so there you are. But they said I'd worked in television, and that made them a little bit anxious. Try eating three cream crackers in a minute, says Ian Johnson. Ian Johnston. Yes, yes, you never know. Uh, so there we are. Uh, Norrie Crozier is watching. Dinky do, Norrie. Lovely to have you with us. This is Scotty McClue, the one's top broadcaster. First Lord of the Internet, global broadcaster, and international icon. So there you are, and the world's most humble man. Try and get a hold of my wonderful interview with two T-double-O grumpy critics. Right, two grumpy critics, the Scotty McClure interview. Get onto YouTube as well, very, very important. And guys, I uh, accept applause or derision on my merits, so if you'd like to make a small contribution, go on to Scotty McClure's website and you'll see PayPal and GoFundMe. GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure, PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClure, all one word. But you'll see the logos on there, and you want to stick in a couple of quid, that'd be absolutely lovely. Frank Crombie is watching. I use it for advertising and things like that to increase the show, get it out there. Uh, did you make up with Mr. Martin, says Chris Purdy. Whoa, Mr. Martin, what a shocker he is. If you want to smile, guys, put in Scotty McClue Talks to Mr. Martin on YouTube. Um, hi, mate. Me and my sister Stephanie are watching. Can we get a shout out? Says John Paul Waterloo. John Paul Waterloo, dinky do. where are you? A big shout out for you and sister Steph. Where are you? Do let us know. Let us know where you're watching, guys. Janet Hogg's watching, dinky do. <coughs> right, let's get this shared, folks. Scotty is a legend, says Harry Marshall Senior. Yes, can we have sharing now? Second challenge is coming up. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Do it right now. I would like to see this program on a television station for half an hour at night, half ten till eleven, half eleven till midnight. Something like that, and we take phone calls and get your opinion and get chit chatting. But don't expect an easy run, guys. I will get right in a uh, to be quite honest. Even if Scotty Dinky do, says Frank Crombie. And uh, Scotty, what do you do with the money, says Stephen Wright? I use it to advertise, uh, Stephen, and see if we can um, raise the profile 
of the show. And also I'm needing to buy, if you look back, you'll see uh, I did a little camera test last week. And everybody just turned away politely and said, get that camera back to the shop. So it'd be quite nice if we could afford little bits of equipment as well. So the money is put to very, very, very good use. Uh, so there you go. A uh, little bit of raising the profile. I'm from the far east of Glasgow, says Eddie Doby Sr. Is that Coat Brig? Or are you not that far east? Are you as far east as Mount Vernon? Are you as far east as... Um, are you as far east as Parkhead? So there you go. Shared, says Ron Stewart. Brotty Ferry. Fantastic. Janice Gators is watching Dinky Do Janice. Lovely to have you with us. Glasgow Mates, says John Paul Warfler. Excellent stuff. Kevin McDonald, Dinky Do. Eddie Dober is from Craig End. Is that Craig End Castle? Do you remember? Who remembers Craig End Castle? Who can tell me where Craig End Castle actually is? And uh, another point, can you tell me who lived in it um, before it uh, got into its present state? So there we are. Right, time for challenge two. Okay, so I'm going back into the jungle. All right. Sorry, I should be putting on my Australian accent. Fantastic. Right. We're going back into the jungle. Time for challenge two. There we go. Right. Oh. Okay. Right, we're in Australia. Okay, and uh, I'm in the jungle. And hello to all the Bruces and Sheila's out there. Fair dinkum, guys. So there we are. Shelley Ball says, Night, night. God bless you. Wish you every success. Love you, Scotty. Good to hear your voice again. Tell them not to ask what you do with your money. Ask them, uh, what do they do? There. Uh, I'm ill the night. Night, night. And two kisses. Night, night, Shelley Ball, darling. Sleep well. And mwah. There you go. Uh, so excellent stuff. Chris Bardley, love you, Scotty. Many a time I slept in for school in the older days. Staying up listening to your show. Hope you're in the best of health. And Merry Christmas you and all your family i thank you very much chris buddy right folks challenge two now i've got my australian voice on because we're in the jungle in australia and i've got my hat to prove it okay now uh, then so you feel at home i'm going to speak a bit geordie like our two wee friends all right so i'll do a little bit of speaking geordie and we've got challenge two coming up and you've got to tell me if i pass it so challenge two, right, challenge two is two cream crackers, two cream crackers, two water biscuits, okay, and I've got to eat them in 30 seconds and show you that they've gone. Are you okay for that? So that's two water biscuits. Scotty McClue is going to attempt live on global television internationally to eat two water biscuits. Are you ready? Councillor Henry Anderson, dinky do. You've come right in the middle of I'm a celebrity. Get it done, you challenge two. Scotty McClue, challenge two, two water biscuits. The clock starts new. Right. Mm. Mm. All clear. There we are. Okay. Yep. All clear. Two water biscuits. Did we do it in under 30 seconds? Fantastic. Well, there you go. That's a challenge. Get it done, yeah. Scotty McClue. Get it done, yeah. I'm a celeb. That's get it done, yeah. Challenge two. Okay. Challenge two. That was two water biscuits in under 30 seconds. Challenge one. At 9.15, challenge one was um, a packet of crisps in under a minute. And we done that, we did that. But you've got to say we done that because we're using Jody. You know, like you go into the pub and you cats on the go. Are you looking at us? And uh, you say, how many mistakes can you make? How many grammatical errors can you make in one sentence, Mr. Jody? So there you are. 
Uh, right, so that's it. Well done, thank you very much. Not quite kangaroos, but Scotty, but entertaining nevertheless. I meant to say no water allowed, says Ian Johnson. Oh, harsh, Ian Johnson, harsh. Or even savage. So there you are, that would be savage. What a man, pure star, says Rod Stewart. Well done. <laughs> William Redford's watching. Excellent. Share, 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 says Peter Martin. Yes, can we have a share, guys? It's way past the share point. Mm. Mm. Share, 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 share. So, there's four challenges tonight, right? We've had challenge one, pack the crisps in under a minute. We passed that, we voted. Challenge two was um, two water biscuits in 30 seconds. We've passed that, right? So I'm a celeb, get it done, yeah. And then um, two more challenges to come up, one at quarter two and one at 10 o'clock sharp, all right? Okay, so I'm going out of the jungle now. So I'll take off my Australian hat and put on my bonnet. Right, where's the bonnet? What's happening here? Who's in charge of the props? Oh, <laughs> right, there we go. That's us back. Good, all sorted out. Dinky do. It's your old pal Scotty McClue back. Challenge two. Hello, Master Senior Scotty. Can you say hello to my mate who's just joined us, Emma Dubba? Cheers. Emma Dubba, Dinky do. Great to hear your voice again, old boy. Never missed a show when I was a boy, says Ian Potty. Ian Johnson. Lovely, lovely big smiles. Four raw eggs with shells. Ian Johnson. Too harsh. Savage, savage. John Anderson's watching. Excellent to have you with us, John. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. And we're right up against I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. So I wanted to make you all feel at home. So I thought I'd have four challenges of my own because they're still getting an audience, even although they're right up against Scotty McClue's global talk show. Incredible. Sorry, I apologize for my previous comment. I did not realize the concept of the program 58. ITV are claiming tonight jungle figures have slumped. I wonder why. Uh, well, there we are. I bet they're not Gordon Sterling, but it's very kind of you to say something like that. Scotty, did you raise a grass for the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh's 70th anniversary? I did, Alfred James Wright, because these wonderful people have done a superb job. And I get very, very, very annoyed at some of the lowlifes who knock them. And, uh, and call them names and things like that. They don't know the first thing about the monarchy. The monarchy gives people a great lift. It gives people a great sense of hope. All these good world leaders do that for us. His Holiness the Pope, the Dalai Lama, all these things, they give us a lift. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, fantastic people, and they've done a wonderful, wonderful job. So there you are. So, I, of course, I raised a glass for them, and I wish them very, very happy 70th wedding anniversary and many more years of joy. So there you are. They're great people. And all these so-called big hoosies and castles and that, they belong to the country. They're assets, right? What these people tend to not understand is that people have a finite life, okay? Okay. So you're not going to live forever. So you need somebody to curate that. I wouldn't thank you for a 400-roomed house. You know, I'd probably get offered one if I suggested it to somebody. Uh, the Geordies are sound people. However, they are renowned for being as thick as two short planks, says Gordon Ritchie. Gordon Ritchie, that is a, a generalization, I see. Uh, so they are Harry Marshall Senior Benefit Scroungers. A lot of them know they're not Harry Marshall. What they did, they brought in £1.8 million pounds this year, royalty. Now, if you think, to put it in proportion, we're talking about paying 40 billion quid to Europe, right? So we can argue for what we've already got. And that will probably go up to around 100 billion. You mark Scotty McClue's words. The Brexit bill will not be far short of 100 million. Scotland provides 40 billion a year to the UK. And they give it back, I think it's a block grant of 28 billion comes back. Haha, <laughs> right, says Harry Marshall. So there you go, Harry Marshall. The Queen and the Duke are making the country a better place, says Frank Conway, quite right. Hi, Scotty. Would I be correct in saying I spotted you in the audience at a Francie and Josie show? It was a clip on YouTube filmed some time ago. Francie and Josie, F and J were singing Sweet Violets. 
at the time. Now, it says Seymour, yes, you're quite right, Neil O'Gormley. You'll also see the actor Paul Young. You'll see uh, Jonathan Watson, only an excuse. You'll see um, all sorts of characters there in the audience. And I was very, very, very privileged to be at, I think that was almost the final Francie and Josie show, if not the final one. And I was even more privileged when I went backstage afterwards. I found out that both Francie and Josie were big Scotty McClue fans and never missed a show. And Jack said to me, he said, oh, Scotty, it's great to meet you. He said, Mary and I watch your show every day and see when you're finished, son, we put it off. Now, that to me is better than an outhood because Jack Mulroy and Ricky Fulton were absolute icons and great icons of mine. They were to me, uh, you know, Mr. Showbiz, the pair of them. Um, I hear that Sidney Devine's making a comeback. So there you are, this is Gordon Mitchell, eh? Paul McCulley. Who's the most famous friend you have, Scotty? Um, my most famous friend was Lord Reith the Labrador, and his place has been taken by Clyde the Labrador. They're very famous. They're, they're even more famous than me. So there you are. There's a picture of Lord Reith and I. Um, I'm the one, uh, am I the one on the left? I can't remember. And he's up with his paws on my shoulder, and it's an absolute piece of world art. It's an icon throughout the world. But um, yes, I've got very, very famous friends. I won't be so base as to actually tell you or to name drop because that's not my style. Uh, but I have um, a tremendous base of very, very famous friends and I'm very, very fortunate. So there you are. And I've got acquaintances, but I've got actual friends in very, very high places and I'm very fortunate with that. I really, really appreciate it. But as I say, I would never be so based as to, to drop names. Danny Matthews, you're the best, Scotty. Think you do, Danny Matthews. You're the best too, I'll tell you that. And we've got another challenge coming up in three minutes. Scotty for the new Taggart. Do you know, it's funny you should say that. Because I'm thinking, what's the next step for Scotty McClue? We've done all the big radio shows. I want to do the Scotty McClue Hogmanay bash and bring Hogmanay in with you. But I'd love to do an acting part. And I think that, you know, uh, apparently I'd be quite good as Mr. Hardman. So, right, get stuck right in there and all the rest of it. You know, so I'd quite like to maybe do a Jim Taggart, that sort of idea. A top polis. You'd better tell me what you've been up to. Because I'm going to want to know. Otherwise, you're going to wait for a very long time indeed. Do you understand me? Oh, hope I didn't frighten you all. Just letting you know. Andy Simpson's there. Excellent stuff. Simon Cowell says Harry Marshall. I think the comic genius was the one and only Chick Murray. Loved Chick Murray as well. Another great guy. Chick Murray had an hotel in Edinburgh. And uh, apparently one night he was sitting reading his Edinburgh Evening News. And one of the barmen came out and tried to put a 40 ouncer up in the optic and it fell and smashed. And he turned round expecting, I think, probably to get sacked or pulled up a chick, a chick, shook his paper and looked over his glasses and he said, Stop that! <laughs> <coughs> Francie and Josie, are you dancing? Josie answers, What? Are you asking? And he says, I'm asking. I'm dancing. He says, uh, Is there anybody seeing you him? Uh, I've seen myself him. <laughs> Don't fancy your job. <laughs> no, think I'm lighting my feet. Oh, you might be lighting your own feet. You're like a ton of coal in mine. There we are. All that stuff. Scotty McClure on Berlini. Ha ha, says Paul McCulley. Thank you. Uh, a lot of people in Berlini used to write to Scotty McClure, the big hoose. Scotty, use your influence and put a stop to Brexit once and for all. Tony Kay, if I could, I would, because I really think these people are going to hand this country away. You know, and they'll you'll never be able to find them. So there we are. You'll never be able to find them. It may be the last uh, Taggart on Glenshee Slopes. So I may, the last Taggart on Glenshee Slopes. Don't know what you mean about that, Harry. Harry Marshall Sr. So there we are. The Met. So there we are. Yes, look down. There'd be a Madonna. Yes, all that stuff. Uh, but no, if I could stop Brexit, it's not too late to rescind Article 50. They could stop at any time. And I think that, uh, you know, all this nonsense about, oh, it's democracy. The country voted. The country didn't vote. Some of the country voted. And now, admittedly, 
on a lot of duff gen and a lot of whoppers from certain politicians, it meant that people voted leave. But when you look back at it, you think, no, this was duff gen, you know? So there we are. Albert Petty, dinky do, Robert, absolutely. And uh, any good jokes, says Harry Marshall Sr. You know, I went into the doctors and said, can you help me out? He said, yep, which way did you come in? There you are. I was standing at the bus stop the other day. I held out my hand to stop a bus, but I just wasn't strong enough. Uh, whoppers, aha, aha, says Craig Harvey. Absolutely, Craig. Absolute whoppers. Um, I'm back. I just got the half-hour call. Right, now, it's time for me to go back into the jungle, guys. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, saying dinky-doo to all of you and the first lord of the internet. Now, we're right up against I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. So what I wanted to do was to make you feel at home, have that on in the background if you really must, because normally television's radio should be off on a Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp because Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live, on television, just for you saying dinky do. So what I've done tonight, I've included several challenges, and I'm going to put myself into the jungle again. So here we go, challenge number three. Right, hold on, what's going on here? Oh yes. Right, so what I'm doing, I'm just putting on my bush, my bushwhacker hat. There you are, that's my bushwhacker so in Australia. I'll say dinky doo to all you Bruce's and Sheila's, fair dinkum to all of you. And that's us in Australia for challenge three. I'm a celebrity, get it down ya. I'll get it done ya as we say. Right, okay, so challenge three. Now challenge one was a packet of crisps in under a minute. We passed that. Challenge two was two Scottish water biscuits. Scottish water biscuits and they went in under 30 seconds. That's challenge two. Challenge three we have here for you. Challenge three is two chocolate mints they've got to go down in 15 seconds all right so what i'll do hang on stick you there no to make you feel at home i'm going to speak a little bit of johnny from our two little friends and i'm a celebrity because i think it's only fair that uh, i make you all feel at home i make you all feel at home so uh, uh, there you go our two friends i'm a celebrity get me out of here and i'm a celebrity scotty McClue, get it doing ya right so here we go. Are we ready? On the clock, 15 seconds for two chocolate mints. Two wafer thin chocolate mints. Are you ready? Here we go. Mint one. Mint one. This is mint one. I'm a celebrity. Get it, don't you? Scott McClure's third challenge of the night. Mmm. Mint two. Mm. 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 Right, we're getting to do this. Mm. 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 A little bit of weather. Mm. I've done it. We've done it. Finished. Uh, two chocolate mints. Okay. That's me. I'm coming out of the jungle now, and I'm going back to Australia, and I'll see you all in a minute with my Scottish bonnet on. Oh, who's in charge of the props, right? Thank you very much. Oh, there we are, back in Scotland. Fantastic. Bit of time travel. Catching cars, best in town, says Ron Stewart. So there you are. I loved you on the radio. You told the truth the way it was, says Danny Matthews. We did, Danny. We always tell the truth. When I close my eyes, it's just like any and Dex, says Alfred James Wright. Harry Marshall Sr., thank you very much for five smileys. 36 seconds, says Paul McCall. It was not. It was nothing like that. Uh, are we going to get a bit of a talk show going, says Steve Burrows? Yes, we've got it going. We're discussing it. We're discussing, should we do the turnaround, come out of Brexit? Right, very important. A little bit of water. Harry Senior, yeah, we've had a little bit of water, so that's rather good. Paul Connor's watching. Lovely to have you with us. All right, Peter, says Danny Matthews. David Fraser's watching. Dinky do, David. Lovely chit-chat this week. Very, very interesting debate and discussion 
on the royals, but my goodness, did it bring a number of dafties out of the woodwork. Water after chocolate. Now that's a challenge, lol. Ah, there you are. No, no, no. The most dangerous thing I've ever done was uh, a once eight and after eight at half past seven. Alan Dockett is watching Dinky Doo. So excellent. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's talk show. We're global. I am an international icon. I am the first lord of the internet, and I am the world's top broadcaster. This is show number 58. So there we are. Liz Lyons watching Dinky Doo. Liz, lovely to have you with us. And uh, I send you much love. I'm sorry about the skipper, uh, a friend of ours that passed on this week, but uh, we send him love and blessings. A great man, and he did many, many, many wonderful things with his life and uh, gave so much of his time to so many others. So there you are. And that's how I remember the skipper. Smileys. <laughs> I'm myself with laughter, says Harry Marshall Senior. Yes, absolutely. Uh, no bad, Danny. How's yourself, buddy? You're bonkers, says Harry Marshall. <coughs> Still on the rock, says Danny Matthews. What does that mean? Uh, does that mean you're in Gibraltar? So there we are. Sorry to change the subject, but it's freezing here tonight. Bring on the snow. Look, says Lee Fan. Yeah, it was a bit slippy slidey. Please watch your feet, guys. Because uh, McClue was out yesterday and got a bit touch of the slippy slidey. So there we are. I was at the uh, the Torval and Dean and the pavement outside the house. So there we are. Uh, uh, after 7.30, you're living on the edge, Scotty. Calm down, says Paul McKay. You are the James Bond of radio, says Harry Marshall. My name is Bond, James Bond. I think I'd be quite a good M, don't you think so? There we are. C, do you know, do you know what C stands for? C. The C is the head of MI6. So there we are. We won't go into too much of that, of course. But I think that he's known as C, or she's known as C, after uh, Mansfield Cumming. So there we are. Uh, a naval officer who was the first one to set up, I think it was uh, either during the First World War, Mansfield Cumming had a wooden leg and used a scooter round the office and he was the original C. So there you are. I don't think I'm giving away any secrets so I'm telling you that. Do you like the snow, Scotty? There were two snowmen in a field and one turns to the other and he says, can you smell carrots? There we are. Gary's watching, says Ron Stewart. Dinky doo. And uh, excellent stuff. Now, we're in the Shetland, Scotty, says Danny Matthews. Danny Dinky doo. There's another great series, Shetland. I love watching that on the telly. I think that's absolutely incredible. Now, a word to the wise, right? Pardon me, I've got a wee touch of the luggy this week, so, but we've pressed on. Uh, Scotty's Urnix, James Bonds, says VJ Dukerim. Excellent, VJ, lovely to hear from you. And uh, how are you, Scott, says Thomas John McDougall. These two are having a conversation during the programme. Mick Simon's watching. A very warm welcome, Mick. Now, We've had three Scotty McClue, I'm a Celebrity, Get It, Dunya Challenges, style challenges on here. First one, packet of crisps in under a minute. Second one, two, um, two Scottish water biscuits in under 30 seconds. And the third one was two chocolate mints in 15 seconds. The Shetland Isles, says Ian Johnson. Absolutely, yes, I know, I, I do understand. James Allison's watching, lovely to have you with us. And um, how are you doing, Scotty, says Thomas John McDougall. Well, very well, Thomas John McDougall. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, show 58. We started for a bit of fun, and now it is a serious global force to be reckoned with on Facebook Live. But you must all do your bit and share, 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 share. And say, I'm watching Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live. And guys, random share during the week right there's a good few thousand people uh, watching during the week as well a lot of people watch after the show especially when you're bang up against i'm a celebrity get me out of here we have to introduce i'm a celebrity get it doing you scotty McClure. turn away a pint of whiskey for the next one says he and party don't try that at home now folks that was for entertainment purposes only get it doing you says harry marshall senior Love to visit Shetland. Looks gorgeous, says Lee Fan. I think you'd enjoy it. 
get yourself up there to Lerwick and uh, the Up Hellier Festival where they burn the Viking boat. So there we are. That's the one. We need you back in the phone in, says Steve Burrows. Yes, Steve, I appreciate that. And I'm in touch with some of the top radio stations. The only thing is you've only really got a couple of groups now that run all the mainstream stations. But I think it would be good for them to take Scotty McClure's Hogmanay bash. And uh, it's, it's better that. Time for my scratcher, Scotty. Night and night. There's Alfred James Wright. Good night. Alfred James Wright. Sleep well. It's just about time for everybody's scratcher. <coughs> Pardon me. We touch of the Lord tonight. But nevertheless, uh, and uh, I hope that we haven't done too much damage to the audience uh, tonight because Scotty McClue's on right bump. Absolutely hard up against Amazon M to get me out of here. So there you go. Now, uh, what I've got, though, uh, I've one more challenge. One more challenge to come. I agree with Steve Burrows. Everybody loved the phone-in. VJ, I would do a phone-in tomorrow in a heartbeat if we can get the right platform for it. We did it here, but I don't have a delay or a profanity device. And a young school guy came on and swore. And uh, we lost all the video for that and had to edit the audio and put the show up in audio only. So it's not worth the risk because of the idiots. Isn't it interesting? In the world, the idiots, uh, the minority, are the ones that uh, set the pace for the majority. Sorry, Scotty, thanks for your comments about the skipper. He would really appreciate it. Unfortunately, I don't have enough data to watch you just now. My partner and I have a van at the clock, but no Wi-Fi. See more. Liz, I won't press see more because I did it once and lost the whole show. But I send you and your partner lots of love. Bless you both and thank you so much for looking after the skipper. Uh, sorry, Shetland, says uh, Peter Martin. Yeah, what are you talking about, Peter? We're trying to work that out. Right, uh, we need to have the next challenge. Now, this is to make you all feel at home. I'm doing I'm a Celebrity, Get It, Dunya. All right, Scotty McClue's I'm a Celebrity, Get It, Dunya. Anne Ingalls is watching, Dinky you do, Anne? Scotty's Hogmanay Pirate Radio Bash will get you on the waves one way or another, says Paul McCulley. Me fan, Scotty, you should join a national radio station, Radio 1. Uh, they wouldn't be able to get enough of you. I've said for years Scotty McClue should do Radio 1 because of my massive, massive youth following. And I remember um, the head of Radio 1, when I was speaking at a radio conference, uh, he appeared in the audience at the back and I thought, my goodness, it's the head of Radio 1. What's he wanting with me, uh, my old flat cap and tweed jackety friend? And of course, um, it was because of the huge youth following that Scotty McClue has. Remember Friday night, it's called Numpty Night, says VJ. Yes, we're Numpty Night and Friday nights, Numpty Heads. Uh, so there we are. But yes, I mean, I think Scotty McClure should be on national radio or even for half an hour on national television. There are television companies that have access to telephones. Get my drift, guys. That's what we should be talking about and get the phone on. Half an hour show, get on the phones, talk to Scotty McClure. I will tell you like it is, but I will get in a boot you. So there you go. Top man, says Ron Stewart. Top man to you, Ron Stewart, now. Last challenge of the night. We're tight for time. So, back into the jungle. Get me out of here. Right. I'm back in Australia. We're in the jungle. I've got my bush hat on, my bush whacker on. And hi to all you Bruce's and Sheila's. Great to have you with us in Australia. And, uh, of course, Queensland. So, there you go. Fantastic. I was born in a street called after one of the governors of Queensland, so there you go. Right, we're in Australia, and tonight's challenge, I'm a celebrity, get it down ya. Uh, right, now the last one of the night is um, a slice of lemon, and I've got to get the slice of lemon and uh, try and keep a straight face. So are you ready? Here we go. Frank Crombie says, night, night, Scotty, all the best. They'd be silly not to hire you. Mind you, nobody be safe then. Get the phone in back. Bring the wizard back. Charles McLaughlin's watching. Exit stuff. Top people. Here we go, guys. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. 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 Oh. Mm. oh, dear. Mm. Oh. Mm. 
Last little bit. Ah! Ah! Well, there we are. That was Scotty McLuhan's fourth challenge for the neat. Four challenges, bucket of crisps in under a minute. Two Scottish water biscuits in under 30 seconds. Two uh, wafer thin chocolate mints in 15 seconds. And a slice of lemon in a boot. Two days, I would think that will be around for. <laughs> so there we are. Right, there we go, guys. Savage, savage. You look like John Wayne after he was shot. Fantastic. So there we are. No chance has been a mountain. Well, that's your challenges, folks. I'm a celebrity. Get it done, ye. Right, there we are. Quick change. Mm. There's a charge here. What's going on, for goodness sake? Right, there we are. Scotty McClure, thank you very, very much. Been lovely to be with you tonight. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the show. You're beautiful, beautiful people. Have a tremendous week. Remember to share and share and share and share and share and share this show as much as you can until you are blue in the pus. So there you are. Excellent stuff. I hope you've enjoyed our four features of uh, I'm a Celebrity, Get It, Dunya. And uh, this is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Scott BD, dinky-doo to you, Peter Martin. Alfred James, good night. Uh, why are you talking like a Geordie, says Scott BD? Because we've, uh, we've been doing uh, some features for I'm a Celebrity, Get It, Dunya. Right, so there you are. And I thought it would make people feel at home if we had a couple of Geordie voices as a tribute to our wee pals on the telly. Right, that's it. I've got to dash, folks. Take great care of yourselves. I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we all sing. Au revoir and a cheerio. Dinky-doo. Scotty McClure has left the building.